Hoo hoo! This is Steve, the acrylic glass man. Hey, how you doing today? It's Asheville, North Carolina. Holy moly. It's like almost 70 degrees. Not really, but it feels like it. Look at this. I'm wearing... I know. Hey, tomorrow is Friday the 13th. What's kind of cool about it is it's my nine month anniversary from having... I would lift up my shirt. Ta -da! No, I'm not going to do that. Nine months since I had open heart surgery. I have a scar from here to here, three little holes, and damn, I lost 46 pounds from the whole experience, y'all. I gained 20 back, so back up to 220, I think. Pretty good shape, feel pretty good. Things are different, things are a lot different. I'd be a liar if I told you how and why and all that stuff. Well, the why, no. But I uh, can't tell you how. Just You could be reaching for something, and then all of a sudden it's like, hmm, it's weird. It's like that. I can't tell you where and how and all the stuff, but nine months tomorrow, or tomorrow be Friday the 13th, be my nine-month anniversary since uh, I've had heart surgery. And in that nine months, wow, have I lived a lot of life. A lot of emotions, a lot of stuff, a lot of healing. A lot of stuff. Hope you're doing good today. Um, missed doing a video yesterday. I kind of miss doing this now that I like doing it. But uh, starting another project. I ended on the bench, and uh, which we got up to video three. I didn't uh, get any farther, but started another project because <laughs> got to get got to get all this stuff done. Um, I want to talk about my grinding station. And it's going to be pretty cool. And this is something you might want to be following on. Um, this, so this will be the first installment. What I got going back here is, now look how low that is. Remember I told you the rule. The rule is that you want your bench to be right even with your elbow at a, at a right angle. So technically I should be this high. I'm keeping it low because I'm going to be teaching other people here. And I don't have to reach that far in order to, um, in, in, I'm not like reaching over my bench three, four feet and making it hard on my back. So this is really going to be nice and easy. And I'm going to have three grinders in here, or else two grinders and a bandsaw. And what I want to do is I want to create a backdrop that's waterproof. I don't want water soaking my walls. Besides, I can take a rag and clean everything off. You know how that goes. Grinders for stained glass are messy mofos. I mean, they're messy. Um, grit and glass dust and, and this wet spooge, this, this paste that's going everywhere and on you. And I wear an apron. I'm not today. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a messy operation. So things get flying around. I want this thing contained. Now, I've got, I've, this is empty, but it's going to be, I'm going to put slats in here, 2 by 4 slats. And then, as you go to, I just got this at Lowe's, I'll need another piece. But I'm going to lay that on top, like this, and I'm going to cut this evenly. I wanted to show you, these come in 2 foot by 4 foot sections, and they're so that you can put them up over your fluorescent lights. It allows light to come through. What I want to do, is set my grinder. I want to set my grinder on this composite. As you can see right here, cord goes through it underneath. Except what I want to do is put my pieces one here and one here. It looks like I'm doing two. That's what I was thinking. But the other one slides so I can slide them all over. Once I get my grid built inside here, I can slide my grinders over and make way for a bandsaw or a third grinder. And But what's going to happen here is I like keeping my grinder full of water because, um, and these grinders, I don't know what's up with Inland with their new design. I'm not too impressed with their latest design of the Wizard. They, they flow water out the back side and they leak all over the place, on the floor and everything. Well, I don't like that. So what I want my grinders to do is to drop the water through the grid and then underneath I'm going to have a trough system underneath this on a tray. 
and it's going to fill into a tank and with an aquarium pump it will filter it in one tank and run it right back up at the top and I'll show you on another piece of equipment what I'm talking about what's going to go back here a piece of PVC pipe uh, plumbing in other words or aquarium tubing with a little valve and I can turn on my uh, a water over each grinder I don't have to keep filling it up when your bit runs dry is when they wear out when they're wet they they endure a long time it's that lubrication that keeps everything um, going and adds life to it at longevity so because the water is bleeding out the back or over the sides it's filling up my tank well not now it's going to drop through here and it's going to come around to my lapidary grinder that you're going to see over here when I move my camera and I'm going to uh, circulate it all with a pump because I don't have running water in my shop this is a this is a storage facility pretty much business park and we don't have running water we don't have bathrooms so I'm going to make a contained unit that's going to flow around and I'll be showing you so that you might have your own ideas if you're a shop and you're perplexed with this water issue with what all these grinders um, all, all these grinders whether you got a wizard or a glass star they all leak water and uh, they don't have great reservoirs they don't have pumps to bring the water back up um, they got a little swish around right here which is really like almost meaningless I want a nozzle at the top let me uh, well we'll move the camera over here and I'll show you that up close so what you see here is this is a composite you can buy it at Lowe's and it's a granite texture it looks just like our stained glass texture called ice and uh, this is uh, I forget how much these were uh, I think it was $32 a sheet a 4 by 8 sheet and you want to cut it out with a knife cutter and you score it so you don't have to cut all the way through and you crack it and crack it and crack it and then I'm going to sand the edges but I'm going to glue it down to this board. I'm going to glue it to this board that's sitting up here for, for sizing. I'm going to glue it to the board because I don't want to glue it to my wall. I'll fit my units in there and I'll put another unit here and another unit on the other side and I'm happy. Remember, I'm going to be cutting this flush. I've got plenty of room to, to build a, 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 put a, a board on the top so that my grinder doesn't move and then I'll put a slat in there down between the screw holes I'll put a piece of board in there nice little trim holds my grinder from moving around as I push my glass so I'm thinking this is going to be of a great benefit to me I ought to show you how that works this is the um, this is the stuff you're going to want to get. I just got it today, and it was really cheap. I thought it'd be pretty expensive. They had some $85 a tub stuff. This is $21 by Type Bond, and it's called Fast Grab. It's, you want to look for FRP adhesive. That's the magic word, FRP. And I can't remember what that's for. You're going to want to put it on with either a trowel, trowel or a uh, putty knife, large. Either way. Or even a board or a piece of metal or a piece of this this plastic I mean it's stiff and rigid enough you can spread it around on this piece right here um, it's 32 inches by 48 this is how much I used so if you're going to utilize as much of this plastic this this uh, PVC type of material if you're going to use as much as I am you're going to want to get a large tub and I hope this stuff stays good for a while it's pretty handy um, to waterproof anything this is what you want and then you put your plastic on it and then your water can run over it now what I plan on doing is taking a large pe uh, a sheet running it on an angle underneath a slight angle so water runs down like on the roof and then I'm gonna oh I'm gonna cut I'm gonna run a piece of three inch four inch PVC pipe through my table saw to cut an opening so that that so that that round, that round PVC pipe, instead of it being totally round, it's going to be open. And I'm going to aim that trough or rain gutter, same concept, I can go get a piece of rain gutter, you get the idea. And that's going to be my trough 
that runs down the back. It's only got to be a degree or two. It, water doesn't need 45 degrees to move. It only needs one or two degrees to move in a downward position. So when you, you're talking about your grade, you don't have to have a big angle here. It's just, it's minimal. So with that said, my tub, I want to keep, keep it covered at all times. And then I'm going to go wash these off in a minute. And I'm going to show you the, uh, I have rubber. This is my matting material that the floor will be done with. It's called matting. Ta-da, get my, and I laid it down on top of my board just as a weight. You can see my board is gluing and it dries really quickly. I'm able to put that board under here already over there in a minute. Now here's my lapidary wheel, a Covington lap wheel. And these are what the spouts that I'm talking about. Obnoxious noise. And they turn on and off with the little petcock here, this little key turns on and off. So these will spray. Now there's a there's a hose that comes off of this side into a tub of water and then through here comes a hose for the exhaust. That will all be contained in this little cavity here. This cavity, this board that you see right here, is going to go back here. Let me set that down. So eventually when I have this line up, up, and in here, that unit goes in there just like so and it'll be plugged in now the water from back let's see I'm going to try to make sure that I'm in in the camera here it's kind of obnoxious when you're not so I will be putting the the whole system and utilizing this part and everything together because my tubing can come through the wall it's real small. It's just aquarium tubing. Just necessary enough to create some water flow. Nice little trickle or a little constant little flow. And I'll have that adjusting, that obnoxious hose, coming off of my pipe here. One for this grinder, one for this grinder. Who knows how I'll have that laid out. Um, and then it will pour or drip water constantly in here. I will not care Let's adjust the camera. Someday somebody's going to walk in and help me video. I will, as long as my grinder overflows through here, down the tub, circulating, coming back up here, I'm happy as can be. This is a system I'm really going to be overjoyed with. I'll be able to stay clean with my apron because the water will come this way for sure, but I'll be wearing an apron. I advise you wear an apron and, of course, safety glasses. Um, and then we've got the grinder situation pretty well handled. I will put a fluorescent light up here. Not concerned with electricity. Don't go into my you're in panic for me. I will put a fluorescent light up here. And I'll put a, a plastic grid over it so that it's protected. It's not going to arc out. I, I've been doing this for so many years. I've never had an issue. And so, remember, I'm going to be cutting this. I hope that helped on this video. That's the job I'm working on now. The next video will be more accelerated or advanced where the unit is in and then I'll be starting to work on this and I'll be showing you along the way because that's what it's about. I want to share some ideas that I think would be beneficial to other people. I'm giving you free ideas and hopefully if you feel that they're um, of any use, implement them. I, I sure be tickled to hear that you guys got some benefit out of, out of my videos. Want to hear feedback? Um, it's a new way of projecting myself, dichroic glass man. I'm a real person. I'm a real, I'm a real person having a, a real freaking life. I mean, a lot of things have changed. Never allowed the camera in my life and I've never been in yours. So let's see how we can do that with that. What, wherever that could even go. Along the way, for those who already know me, I want to collaborate with people. If you've got ideas for bevels and jewels, the dichroic programs that I provide, that's why all these bevels are above here and down here, is I'm really going to jump into the bevel and jewel program. will not be showing my processes how I do it because I sell my lesson plans. 
My two big lesson plans is how I design called the Genesis system, and yes, it's for sale anywhere in the world I'll ship. The Bevel and Jewel program I'll ship anywhere in the world. In fact, it's already in 18 countries. So please let me know. Contact me at the email provided in this YouTube description, and I'd love to hear back from you. That's the thing. I want to open and have some collaborative exchange. Thank you for watching, and uh, best of the day to you. Hug somebody, let them know that they're appreciated. Let them know that you know they're appreciated. Bye-bye.